We got Lucky. We got the Punisher. We got my girl Mary J, y'all. I see Scoop back there being a good boy. Also got my boy Coco right here. Look at that pretty girl right there. Chloe, ain't that right? going on everybody man i'm gonna welcome y'all back to pure quality canines your folks dj back in the backyard with the dogs right now about to actually go ahead and feed them real quick y'all been out here for a while chilling with them man before i get started i want to wish everybody a happy sunday man hope everybody's doing good hope everybody's blessed but uh like i say been out here for a while with the dogs man did my little cleaning up straightening up same time too just going over the yard uh thinking about some of the changes i want to make um, in a little while to make it more comfortable for them and at the same time to um, make it more friendly for the family man to start getting back out here enjoying this side of the yard a little bit and um, keeping the dogs man pretty much posted on that side y'all but uh, like I say man it's been out here chilling with the dogs about to go ahead and feed them real quick at the same time too man want to give y'all a little look at them I know a lot of y'all come back man y'all want to see the dogs want to check them out man check out their progress so uh, before I feed them man I'm going to go ahead and introduce y'all to them all real quick Y'all know over here in the corner, man, we got my girl Layla, man. Got that little boy Punisher, man, the smallest thing on the yard. Y'all know who that is, man. That's my pretty girl Mary J right there, looking so beautiful, ain't she? Y'all see Molly over there. Molly and her boy Lucky. Y'all know who that is, man. The one, the only. That boy Scoop, man. But yeah, y'all, everything's kind of calm right now in the backyard, man. Kind of had a little situation earlier, man. Once again, um, that girl Layla and Molly, man, got into it again, y'all. Um, it's a crazy thing because um, something I just figured out a couple of days ago because I've been kind of, um, I know the reason they've been getting into it, man, because they're both uh, real dominant females and um, they kind of wanting to see, man, who's going to be, or at least in my mind, I thought they was kind of fighting to see who's going to be, um, the hierarchy, you know what I mean? Uh, the queen of the yard, y'all. But um, I think that this pretty much already been figured out. The reason I say that is the other day, I actually had Molly and Layla on the chain, y'all. I had them on the chains pretty much separated and um, cause they was cutting up that day. So um, I went ahead and took Layla and put her in the house. So um, after I put her in the house, I went ahead and let Molly off the chain. As soon as I let Molly off the chain, man, she did about two, three laps around the yard, y'all. Full speed running around the yard. Um, all the dogs was chasing after her. She stopped in about three, four places, man. Pretty much squatted down, peed, you know, pretty much. Um, you know how dogs, when they pee, man, they're, put, they're marking their spot, marking their territory. And, uh, then as soon as she got through stopping, man, all the dogs... Y'all know uh, Scoop, man, who she done had the litters with, man. All her puppies, man, they just running around her, licking her in the face and everything. Um, almost like in congratulations, man, or just showing their love for her. But this was the crazy part. As soon as she got through doing all that, man, she went by the back door where I let um, Layla in the house, man. It pretty much sat there, almost in like a, um, a dog hunting stands, you know, when it's pointing at something. And just pretty much kept her nose at that door, man, waiting for Layla to come back out, y'all. So, um, with me seeing that, I believe that's pretty much telling me, um, as far as the queen of the yard, y'all, um, it's already been chosen. It's Molly, you know what I mean? I believe, uh, like I said, Scoop done chose her and all the puppies, you know what I mean? They're not just going to choose their mother. But the biggest thing we're having is, like I said, at the same time, um, Layla ain't no punk, y'all. Um, both them females, they both at the same age, um, a little over two years old. So like I say, at the same time too, I believe Molly's been chosen as the hierarchy of the yard, but at the same time too, um, Layla just ain't, <laughs> Layla just ain't letting it go, man. Layla ain't gonna let it go, man. So, um, yeah, I'm talking about you. I'm trying to stop now because I'm watching you.
Y'all, that's their prey pretty much all day. You know what I mean? When I let them back out here, uh, that's all they do, man. Stay next to each other, follow each other. Um, if one's barking at something, the other one's barking. If the other one's hitting the fence, the other one's hitting the fence. Um, you know, they, they pretty much they try to um, best each other at everything they do, man. So, uh, like I say, I definitely got to keep an eye on them two girls, man. Make sure they don't hurt themselves. Cause, uh, ain't that right. But yeah, y'all, let me go ahead and put this food down real quick, man. I know these dogs hungry. Been waiting to eat. I'm holding up. see their faces knee deep in it, y'all. Today's pretty much a raw type of day, man. Um, I went to the meat market this morning, got some uh, uh, scrap, got the scrap pieces of chicken, y'all. I got some uh, chicken livers in there. I busted up some bananas we had. At the same time, too, uh, got some pork fat in there. And um, I had some leftover um, ground beef, man. We made tacos the other night, y'all. It wasn't, it wasn't seasoned or nothing like that, but uh, it was enough of it that I wasn't going to use it no more, so I threw some couple chunks of that off in there. So that's pretty much their meal, man. God, y'all see, they done went through that already. Yeah, y'all, we ain't got too much going on, man. It's back here in the backyard chilling with the dogs. Uh, y'all know every Sunday I like at least to give y'all a little something, man. And I ain't really got a uh, big top of the speaker on, man. Nothing else is give y'all a little view of the dogs, man. Let y'all see they still healthy, man. Still looking good, still doing good. Actually, man, yesterday I posted, I had went to that um, dog show, man, up here in South Carolina, y'all. Was going to take a little run out there, man, try to get some footage of him. At the same time, too, uh, get him used to being around crowds, being around dogs, not being so reactive, y'all. Uh, if y'all look at it right now, it looks like it was a pretty nice day, y'all. The sun we had out today, but uh, it was still kind of windy and cold. But yesterday, man, I woke up, man, it was coming down raining looking nasty outside y'all i ain't gonna lie i'm kind of to the point now in my life where um if i ain't got to go outside in the rain man um i don't try to y'all like i said i think it's got a lot to do with these dogs where it's to the point now i don't matter what the conditions are i gotta be out here i gotta take care of them so um i think it's kind of changing me in other situations in life where man if i ain't gotta be there man if it ain't life or death or it ain't really important uh, like I said, if it's raining nasty, man, I ain't gonna come outside. I ain't moving too quick, y'all. So like I said, man, that dog show yesterday, didn't get to make it out there, man. Uh, hate I didn't, man. My boy, um, JT Frenchies, and uh, his people went out there. Um, I think they took some um, trophies away, man, for they with their French Bulldogs. Uh, hate I couldn't be there to support, man, but. Uh, like I say, uh, we'll catch the next one, man. I definitely have some footage of y'all, man. So y'all like, and like coming along, man, checking them shows out, man. Uh, seeing the Frenchies and the uh, exotic bulldogs doing their thing, y'all. And knock them bones out. I wasn't playing with them. Let me get that. Let me get that.
that pretty much been their meal today, y'all. But I, what I'll probably end up doing is um, next couple hours before I put them in for the night, um, give them a little bit of kibble, y'all, inside their um, bowls, man, before I put them in their cages. Like I say, just so they can live on something over during the night. Um, one thing I have been looking at, y'all, I'm kind of trying to switch up Lucky's diet. Um, I don't think Lucky's no fat dog, y'all. Because if you see how I pretty much feed all the dogs, man, they all eat at the same time. They all can pretty much get their full. But at the same time, too, man, well, he's a big boy, y'all. But you know what I mean? I don't know if I'm going to have to maybe start switching up where I got to start feeding him by himself and uh, being more exact with it. Um, I don't know, y'all. I'm looking at that boy right there. I don't want to say he's a fat dog, but at the same time, too, boy, he is big. <laughs> boy, this boy is big, man. I wasn't able to get him up to PetSmart um, this weekend to get him weighed, but uh, next week we'll definitely have some time, man, get him up there, see where this boy at. I know he's sitting over a buck fifty. And he ain't nothing but solid, man. Like I say, too, like, you know, he ain't. Boy, got him. Tight skin, y'all. I don't know, man. I walk that boy. We walk at least um, at least three times a week, man. I take him and scoop for a walk. And it's a two and a half, three mile walk, y'all. So he's getting his work in. I know he's running this yard a lot with the rest of the dogs, but um, I don't know, y'all. It's a it's a trip, just his size, man. Like I say, man, once I be able to see um the rest of his brothers off this last litter um see where they at well at the same time too i ain't gonna lie man we done already went over there i showed y'all a couple weeks ago we went and, uh seen his other brother off his litter and that boy's 153 pounds so um like i say it ain't too much off from where scoop is where lucky is but um i don't know lucky just seemed to carry his weight a little bit different man that's a big old boy Why they love coming back here to Molly's cage, man, rolling in this hay. I think I'd be putting hers the thickest. But hey, y'all, I ain't gonna hold y'all too much longer. Like I say, man, I just wanted to put something out to show y'all how the dog's doing, man. Let y'all show they still uh, living and alive, man, and doing well, man. I'm still doing what I'm supposed to do over here taking care of these dogs but uh like i say i appreciate y'all coming through man y'all know i never start with it but i'm always gonna finish with it make sure y'all hitting that like subscribe button man hitting that notification bell y'all miss nothing we got going on over here like i say man next week um definitely be taking that boy lucky man to get him way see where he's at right now uh if y'all don't know he's at 16 months so um like i say he's almost to that two year mark um like I said, that boy, that boy still got a lot more growing to do, man. It's going to be crazy to see where he eventually going to top out and what type of dog he's going to look um, at maturity, man. I can't wait to see it, y'all. I really can't. I ain't going to lie to you. That's my big baby right there, man. But with that being said, y'all, once again, appreciate y'all sliding through, man. We out. You break the rules. You become the hero. I do it. I become the enemy. Seems fair.